Hello there, my name's Chip Thompson, this is what I think of 3D, and welcome to episode 7. This week I went to see The Avengers for the second time and thoroughly enjoyed it again. Uh, the bits I dragged the first time round, they just flew by, and I think it's better upon second time viewing. Um, however, I, the Odeon I went to see it at was only showing it in 3D. And as you can tell by the opening of this vlog, I loathe 3D and will try to avoid it at all costs, which means I haven't seen anything in 3D for quite a while. Uh, but seeing the Avengers in 3D this week kind of reminded me of why I hate it so much. And that's why this week's vlog is a 3D special, as I present the top five reasons as to why 3D deserves to die a painful death. Number one, the price. Despite the fact that we have had 3D thrust upon us, it's us, the cinema going public, that have to pick up the bill. I mean, if you don't bring your own pair of 3D glasses or you snap them in some sort of hate fueled rage, then you have to pay extra for these cheap pieces of crap plastic. It's just an excuse for us to put more money into already rising cinema ticket prices, and I don't know about you, but I do not like playing for things that I don't like. Number two, reduced light quality. 3D reduces the light quality of a film by something like 20%. So for something that's meant to enhance the cinematic experience, the fact that it makes the image darker is somewhat ironic. And the perfect example of this is the opening of The Avengers, which is quite dark anyway, but you can hardly see Samuel L. Jackson with his black coat, black eye patch, and black him. And I want to see Samuel L. Jackson. Number three, headaches and nausea. This is mostly a personal thing, but whenever I see something in 3D, it makes my head thump and I feel like I'm going to throw up. Luckily, this week I'd already seen The Avengers, so I could watch most of the film with the glasses off, and seeing it all blurry is much preferable to seeing it in 3D. It's like watching a film drunk, whereas 3D is like giving yourself a hangover. Number four. Artistic merit. What does 3D actually add? Okay, well, it gives you an extra sense of depth but really unrealistic depth, because life doesn't look like that in real life. It can throw things at you. <laughs> Yay! But it's not a narrative technique. It doesn't help to tell the story better. The film doesn't look more cinematic or beautiful because it's in 3D. I guess you could argue that Avatar would be the exception, but that's a piece of shit, so your argument falls down there. And number five. Douchebags. Again, this is a personal thing, and it's going to sound quite snobbish, but... Every time I hear someone defend or praise 3D, I just assume they have no knowledge of cinema whatsoever and would be better off reviewing films for the Daily Star. Whoa! Did you see that, bruv? This Transformers 3 is well wicked! It's like I can touch the screen and that! Ah! Now, the only elements of 3D I've ever enjoyed were in Up, for instance. The depth there works quite well. It does make a few of the scenes look quite beautiful and more interesting. And I didn't see Hugo in 3D or something like Cave of Forgotten Dreams. Both those films are meant to do something quite interesting with 3D. Um, but the 3D, uh, the film I enjoyed 3D in the most was actually Jackass, which pretty much says it all, really. 3D is a useless gimmick, nothing more. The sooner it dies out, the better. It's a poison, and it's ruining cinema. More than piracy, more than Jerry Bruckheimer, and it needs to stop. Do not support 3D! Fever the revolution! Oof. Well, that's it for another week. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as ever, I bid you farewell with some awesome movie quotage.